So now we've got our very weird mix of seasonal flowers together. I have put them straight into a jug. So I've rifled through all the different vessels I have hanging around and I decided to use this old fashioned cup that I think my husband was given for his 21st. And to hold this bunch together, I have cut a piece of bendy chicken wire. This is the coated stuff. And I'm going to scrunch it up and force it down to sit nice and snugly in the jar. I've gone through every single stem and I have stripped off the leaves that will be below the line of water. This is A, to stop the water from getting soggy, and B, to stop it getting caught up if we need to lift it out and move it when we're rearranging in our chicken wire. So I'm going to start with all of my greenery, essentially. And before I plunge into the new fresh water, I'm actually just going to snip and pop in. This just means there's a nice fresh cut ready to draw water. Ideally, we want these to last as long as they can. This one is looking a little limp. The one real challenge, which isn't talked about very much, when we're picking, oh, <laughs> when we're picking from our own garden, we don't always have long stems because we don't want to completely decimate our plants from not looking good in the garden. So I just don't aim for perfection. Just gather what you can and cut as long as you can at the time. So I'm gonna put in the tall straighties. Kind of like this swooping asymmetrical feeling. This flower is looking a bit worse for wear, but to be totally honest, I don't have many daffodils in the garden right now. So I am using what I've got. Still looks beautiful. It'll last a day or so. I'm just doing this arrangement to sit against um, a window above my bench, so I'm not worrying about the backside. It's quite, it's quite flat with everything happening out the front. Oh, this is my favorite smell. Jasmine. I can only reach one bit, so that's why there's only one piece. Literally, this is everything that I'm growing right now. And I got a dandelion. He's looking a bit drowned right now, but he was just shining at me from my vegetable garden where he had hidden. He's not a weed, he's a rebel plant. Weird and wonderful and totally not perfect. Not something you would better buy. Um, probably not something a florist would sell, but this is pretty great for your kitchen table.